Welcome back to D20 Tactics. On this channel, I play Dungeons and Dragons with my friends, and we explore combat scenarios and play out the tactics used to defeat monsters quickly and safely, giving you more time to get back to roleplaying. I'm your host and Dungeon Master, Saracen Zero, and today I'm joined by Blind Oracle, Merrick of War, Azure Wolf, and Fear No Equal. Together we'll run through typical battles that adventurers might see playing Dungeons and Dragons. This is the fifth encounter of a demonic incursion, so if you must start, you can find a link to it in the description below. Grab your dice, draw your sword, and let's jump into combat. Hit points, ability, spells, items in hand. Plus two short bow, plus one arrows. It's rid of the bards on the back. 169 out of 169 hit points. 170 out of 170, currently carrying a Warhammer and a plus two shield. Two channel divinities left. Four level ones, one level two, two level three, one level four, two level fives, and one level seven, and one level eight. Currently carrying my wand, the war mage plus two, and my spell books. Four level ones, three level twos, one level three, three level fours, two level fives, 122 out of 122 hit points. 35 out of 50 for the simulacrum. Three first, three second, one third, two fourths. 202 out of 202 hit points. Great Axe plus two in hand. Action Surge and Second Wind and both Indomitables available. Carryover spells and allies. I have a potion of Fire Giant Strength active right now. Carrying over a Simulacrum, my owl. Aid and Hero's Feast continues. Monsters, abilities, items, and numbers. This encounter has three crab demons. Crab demons, as you might imagine, I have demonic resistances. They're resistant to cold, fire, and lightning, and non-magical attacks. Immunity to poison, true sight out to 120 feet. They also have innate spell casting, so they have a number of different things they can cast, including fly, confusion, and power word stun. They have multi-attack. They each have two pincers and two fists that they can use to punch with. Terrain and effects. This encounter is an indoor encounter for the most part. I mean, it might wind up going outdoors. We'll see. Most of it is just blocked off terrain. There's a little bit of difficult terrain on that table over there. Otherwise, there's a large cauldron in the middle of the room. Should it be touched, land upon, stepped on, etc., will provoke a DC 17 constitution save versus a curse, the type that can be removed with remove curse. This curse will give you disadvantage on every attack roll, saving throw, or ability check you make until you remove the curse. Is the cauldron big enough where it blocks that crab in the back or no? No, the cauldron is set into the floor. It'll provide cover for medium-sized creatures, but not for these large creatures. I guess we can't do the Benny Hill kite thing. In what fashion do these doors Doors open. These doors swing open. Do the enemies have to squeeze in order to get through that exit? They will have to squeeze. They're large creatures and these are mostly medium passageways. They'll have to squeeze to get through pretty much any door, any hallway. They're going to do a lot of squeezing if they have to maneuver that much. So what do you guys think for tactics in this fight? Oh, please let us lock them in there and drop a level eight spirit guardians. <laughs> so we should just block them with people and drop a level eight spirit guardians and just watch the fun. That or do you want to take two out with banish maybe? These guys have got some spells on them. That power word stun can be a little rough. Whatever the casters think our drop is here, but Banish would also probably be a good time. I've got a fifth, so I can maybe take two, maybe take the other one again. Fourth level on the semi-lacrum left. I've got a couple casts as well that I can back that up with. Yeah, I mean, that might be the blitz this encounter that way. Initiative, here we come. Yeah, initiative is actually going to matter a lot because of whom can open doors. Let's get rolling then. Anybody have higher than a 20? Anyone have between a 20 and a 15? 18 for the rogue. The cleric has 17. Anyone have between a 15 and a 10? 14 for the wizard, 12 for the owl. Fighter? 6. 4 for the crab demons. Rogue, you're up first. That's a thing that's happening. You want to take my scroll of banishment? No, we want you guys to cast those because when I cast things, my save DC is not as good as yours. Honestly, we're going to take the hide bonus action and then we are going to ready an action to shoot the first enemy I see. Cast fly. You wanted to do it and you have the action. I see where you're going for that, but this is all super indoors. After the rogue is the cleric. I need to have a line of sight for banishment, don't I? Could you imagine? <laughs> I banish literally anyone. Yeah, I think I can get into that doorway and be able to see the northernmost and the westernmost crab demons. The problem you're going to run into is you only have a single object interaction. So you can open one door, but you couldn't open the second one. Open the first door. I wonder if there's a way I can like prep an action to like be able to open the door for someone so they don't have to like... You can object interact as an action. It just takes an action to do it. Ready an action to open the door under what situation? If the wizard wants to cast a spell targeting the crab demons, I'll open the door so that he can fire out. It has to be something you can observe, so I'd imagine him saying, I wanted you to open the door would be a thing that you could observe. After the cleric, we go to the wizard. Which is not gonna do me much good. I'll move into the room to that spot and dodge, I think it's the simulacrum gonna do. Same thing, he's just gonna move in the room and dodge it up for the moment. After the wizard, we go to the owl. Fly in. After the owl is the fighter. I will go ahead and move 
into the room adjacent to the cleric, ready in action to strike the first enemy that I see. After the fighter, we go to the crab demons. This guy's going to squeeze into there. Reaction for the fighter. Crit for 26 damage. The crab demon is going to cast Power Word Stun. If the creature has 150 hit points or fewer, it is stunned. Otherwise, it has no effect. I cast Counterspell 5th level. Go ahead and make the Counterspell roll. 12 on the d20. 12 plus 5 is 17. 17 is insufficient to counter this spell. So he's going to hit you with Power Word Stun. Imagine that. You can make a constitution save at the end of your turn to end the effect. He spent three to get in there, so he's going to walk back to there. This guy's going to squeeze over to there. Did you have ready action as well? 19 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. 42 points of damage. He's going to cast Power Word Stun on you, Rogue. Do you have less than 150 hit points? No. <laughs> okay, well, look, a Rogue with 150 hit points is a lot. I figured you knew that. Oh, no, I just forgot. This guy's going to move over here and dodge. After that, we're going to go to the rogue. Cool. Stand behind the fighter. Bonus action hide. And then shoot the crab in front of me. I realize I'm damage splitting, but I did not want to be out there alone. Crabs who can't stun you. <laughs> 28 to hit. Yeah, 28 hits. 34 points of damage. After the rogue, we go to the cleric. What's their effective range? Pinchers have a reach of 10. Their fists have a reach of 5. Let's go ahead and cast a level 5 Spirit Guardians. And then I'll go ahead and enter into the room. Wizard, DC 16 con save at the end of your turn. 23. Fifth and simulacrum. Obey your spoken commands, moving and acting in accordance with your wishes and acting on your turn in combat. You save at the end of your turn, so it's not going to do anything because you don't do anything during your turn. It's not one of those telepathic ones. And you have to command it to act. So after the wizard, we go to the owl. The owl, you do command to act on its own initiative. That can be done telepathically. After the owl, we go to the fighter. Advance to the southeast corner, beginning my attack run with advantage. 29 to hit. Hits. Reroll damage for 13 damage. Attacking two, that's a 26 to hit. Hits. For 12 damage. Attack number three, 16 to hit. 16 to miss. That'll do. After that, we're gonna go to the crab demons. This crab demon has his power word, but he can't see anyone. Confusion's not gonna be very good. It's a wisdom saving throw. The middle crab demon is gonna attack the fighter. 18 to hit your fighter. Nope. Second pincer attack. There's always a second pincer attack. Always a second pincer attack when you're fighting crab demons. 23 to hit. That will hit. It's always the pincer that you're not looking at that gets you. Well, he only did seven points of bludgeoning damage, which is his minimum. I appreciate his gentle nature. He's going to back up with you and bash you into the cauldron. Give me a DC 17 constitution save versus the curse. That's a 28. And then he's going to drag you closer to him. Oh, that's as far as he can go. His friend's going to climb over to here. He's going to throw a confusion at the wizard. Counterspell level four. Fourth level counterspell will dispel the confusion. Cool. Third crab is going to start his turn off in the bubble. 13 with a DC 18 wisdom save. With magic resistance, he's going to get 21 on his wisdom save. So he's going to take six points. He's going to try to shake this cleric to death. Crab hand number one is an 18 to hit you. Does not hit. Crab hand number two, 16 to hit you. Does not hit. Fist to the face, 27 to hit you. That will hit. Take five points of bludgeoning damage. Give me a concentration save. Uh, nine total, still not enough. And so the radius will drop. Final fist to the face is a 20. 20 would not hit. Then he's going to back away, proffing an opportunity attack if you want it. Sure, why not? 17? 17 is hit. Four bludgeoning with three radiant. He's going to resist the four damage. That'll go to two. Two plus three is five. Continue his move to there. After that, we're going to go to the rogue. Hide bonus action. 34 to stealth. Advance north two. Take the shot on the crab. Ye old north crab, as it were. 22 to hit. 22 hits. 48 points of damage. Darn near max on everything. Let's go ahead and move straight west. After the rogue, we go to the cleric. Move up to the crab. Cast spiritual weapon between the fighter and the crab. And we can start moving up to the next crab. Then we'll attack with it. 13. 13's a miss. We'll go ahead and attack the crab with my warhammer. Uh, 19. 19 hits. Five bludgeoning and three radiant. Total of five damage. After the cleric, we go to the wizard. Two northeast of the rogue there. Crab, that's grapple the fighter. Let's 
Banish. DC 18 Charisma. He has magic resistance, so he's going to get advantage on this. Only pulls off a 16. Holding for a minute. Let's move back into the room so Ro can get in and do his thing. Simulacrum's going to banish the one to the east here. DC 18. Can't get any better. He gets a 13. Holding for a minute and just kind of tucking myself in the corner somewhere. Take a seat at the table. It works. Ow. Get in. Give that fighter advantage. And then you can just stay in the room somewhere up in the air out of the range. Fighter. I don't have to take the cauldron check again, right? Only if you move into a square, another cauldron square. Well, let's hop off the cauldron and north of the spiritual weapon. First attack with advantage. That's a 31 for 19 damage. 19 is lethal. Well then. And that's the encounter. Report hit points. 169 out of 169 hit points. 20 more than I expected you to have. 165 out of 170. 122 out of 122 and 35 out of 50. 195 out of 202. Any end of encounter actions? I'd like to use a portal of power getting a third level spell back. The adventurers are going to head upstairs figure out what's going on, what caused this demonic incursion, and see if they can stop it. Five encounters down, one more to go before the long rest. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you'll join us next week as the adventure continues. I'm Sarson Zero, and I will see you next time.